Okay, got some new toys in the door today. Got a, another uh, 433 megahertz receiver to put in the Super Sky Surfer so I can use it for an RC trainer plane. And get the uh, aircraft in here. Let's see. Do the staple here. And that's what's in the box. Hundred and twenty bucks, basically. It has to be. Bound to a, a transmitter, and it has to be configured antenna a little straight here. Yeah. It's close enough for government work. Okay, that's close enough for government work right now. So, what else comes is a four pin connector for the connection of. the EZOSD package because the EZOSD package uses telemetry down the audio signal white wire down the audio signal for uh, transmission of telemetry between the video transmitter and the ground station. And so your easy OSD would plug in here to this connector. But I don't use easy OSD uh, the range on it. I'm using uh, one watt 900 now because I have a 25 mile range on that. It's the best I can find so far. So, only thing left is to program it. Make sure the firmware is correct. Grab your good old USB cable. And plug it into your nearest wonderful computer. You see, the red light comes on, and basically, we're ready to program. So, we'll move over here to the computer itself and look at our firmware setups etc for this receiver okay so we'll come in here 
to the Immersion RC. And that's the live version. Here we go. And we'll read the settings from the receiver. Okay. Version 1.5G. Oops. 1.56. That's the current version. I will leave this in eight channel mode. Leave it in diversity. Servo mapping's fine. Scan for any <coughs> emissions in that area. And there are some locally. This is in the garage door opener band, some of the garbage like that. Okay. And we turned on the transmitter and we got a definite increase in output that frequency. Shut the transmitter back off. And that certainly did. Change. All right. Play with the interference wizard later. And stop the spectrum scan. Oh well, I'll play with this later. There's ways of uh, changing. This is a complete spectrum analyzer for frequency scanning. You just roll it and it chooses. See, I can go to 2.4. We'll play with that later too. But for right now, let's see if it'll bind. I'm successful. Move the USB cable. So there you go. There's a new one configured.
ready to go uh, for the extreme surfer I'm going to use for a training RC aircraft. This is an old one. I had to buy that one to replace. This one burn up in flight. Suddenly the receiver didn't work. Uh, there's the antenna side of these things. Not much to one. Got pin headers on each side of the components. There's just not much in the way of components on this. This side, the uh, uh, come on, focus. USB and easy OSD, which I'm not going to use. I'm going to use the telemetry I've been using. It's got a longer range. But anyway, this one burned up in flight. Luckily, I did have telemetry running at the time so that uh, I was able to tell the craft to return to launch. And I didn't lose it. Didn't crash it. So this one's just for show and tell anymore. This one's burned up. Here's the replacement to it. Bound. Ready to go in. Not much more to say about that one. Also got a cable for the Mobius. Where on this end, the connector's a little shorter. Here's the old one. I'm going to try to put them shoulder to shoulder. Show the Oops. Mm. Ah, maybe this will work. I kind of put them like that. You can see I'm gaining a good out to here. That. Here's my length, so I am gaining some gap length there. Thank goodness. So, this end goes in the Mobius. This end has one connector for the camera for the audio on the white. The other three position connectors for. Oops. I hate that camera's focus. For uh, power ground and signal. I'm going to try this one to replace the this one and see how well it works. It should work perfectly. Alright. So that'll be. in the back of the Mobius now and hopefully I'm going to save quite a bit of length at least cuts it in half so I can move the camera back further on the uh, whoops drill out I can move the camera back further on the um, vibration dampening foam, get more vibration out of it by this little simple change here. Oops. Terrible camera. Work. This little simple change here of uh, how much I can slide it back. I think that's about it. Yep, just two little pieces today. That's it. Have a good one.